what is up guys casual avenger back again with the first video of the new year and today we're talking about something that could bring huge changes to the future of marvel's avengers so buckle up because we're jumping straight into it Now just a few days ago, Miller re-emerged with a surprise reveal of She-Hulk's official voice actor, which was later confirmed by the actress herself, and a journalist reached out to him for a quote, and he had this to say, She-Hulk is definitely not the last character coming to Marvel's Avengers, but is she the next? The content release schedule shakeup that pushed her into 2022 brought with it some surprises from outside of the established rumors. Expect the unexpected. And on top of the tease he gave in this quote, last night he kicked off his new full year stream over on Twitch, and not even an hour in, he dropped a huge bomb that a secret hero who was not on any of the data mine lists could be coming before even She-Hulk. And the only hint he gave was that this hero has interesting hair, and he wouldn't say if it was a male or female character or give hints about their name, but when asked if they were an Echo character, he said yes and no. Now before we get too far into this, none of this is official news, and things can clearly change behind the scenes, but this does kind of change the outlook for the hero releases for the year, because up until now, the expectations were to see She-Hulk, then Winter Soldier, and last Captain Marvel, with the hope that maybe War Machine would be squeezed in as a hero event. Now my immediate thoughts on this is that this could be a smaller hero release similar to what we saw with Spider-Man with the exception being this new hero won't be console exclusive. And on one hand this is exciting because they could have decided that dropping more heroes more often could help the game in the long term because that means more stuff to sell on the marketplace. But on the other hand this new hero could mean another hero we were expecting to see could be pushed back further down the release schedule with that more than likely being possibly War Machine. But this is all speculation, so I'll definitely let you guys know more as I learn more, but I do want to throw out a few names that I think could be this new hero, and some who I don't think it will be at all. So people in the chat asked about characters like Squirrel Girl or Cloak and Dagger, and he shot those down as well as Mockingbird and Quicksilver, so that knocks them out of the running. As far as heroes I don't think it will be that fit the description of interesting hair, Wolverine, because during the stream, he said multiple times the hero wasn't as interesting as heroes like Quicksilver or Squirrel Girl. And while that is purely subjective, I think if it was someone like Wolverine, he would have 100% said people are going to be hyped. And I saw people throwing out names like Storm and Jane Foster as Thor and Monica Rambeau. And I don't think it will turn out to be any of them because in the case of Storm, I don't think they're introducing the X-Men in this game, at least not this year, if at all. And I think in order to add Jane Foster, they will have to introduce a new weapon weapon and narrative for Thor and I don't think they're quite ready for that and while I think Monica Rambeau is definitely rising in popularity and is exactly the kind of new hero that we need in the game I just don't see her coming out of nowhere like this and I don't think Miller would dismiss any of these heroes as uninteresting apart from their hair. Now as for the heroes I think could make sense but also could be seen as not that interesting while also being somewhat of an Echo character is someone like Namor because he can fly, he's super strong, and he could throw his trident as his ranged attack and I can see him kind of functioning similar to Thor as far as his attacks go and depending on the design they chose I can see his hair being interesting as well. Another name that came up was Yelena and while she is rising in popularity after appearing in the Black Widow movie and Hawkeye I can see Miller being a bit disinterested because she's definitely going to be a Black Widow echo with variations in gameplay and she did have a pretty interesting do in Hawkeye so they could have done something interesting on that front as well since we saw what they were capable of with Black Widow's latest skin. I also saw people throw out the name Medusa and I think that would be an awesome direction to go but I don't really see them heading down that road because that just makes people want to play as Black Bolt and possibly other humans and with She-Hulk being so close in terms of release I'm not all that sure that this new hero could be a female at all but we'll see. And like I said this is all pure speculation and for now Miller hasn't revealed who the new hero is but I'll definitely be on the lookout for when he does but I have to hear what you guys are thinking about all of this so let me know down below who do you think this new hero could be based on Miller's cryptic hints and are you excited by this news or has this all made you more cautious about the game's future make sure to drop a like to help promote the video and subscribe to catch more Marvel's Avengers news and content every week thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one